These claws are serious. For real. Ah, top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? I'm leaving California right now. Coming to Arizona, and uh, got a wild caught Garrett Hartle in the wild. He's and, the, and the smell of skunk. Smell of skunk. We came to Arizona because we like to do things like that. I don't really talk about this a whole lot on the channel because I don't want to inundate you guys with all kinds of crazy stuff. But we do this. Uh, we do this location sponsorship for our podcast, Searchable's Reptiles. Some of you are probably familiar with our podcast, Searchable's Reptiles. We go around and do crazy stuff like... Like carry his back. Like carry Brian's bags all around the world. And we've got a location, our first location sponsorship since COVID has hit. So... Back at it, baby. We're back at it. We're really excited to do this, actually. We're gonna go meet up with these sponsors right now. And they are actually opening up a new reptile shop here in the Phoenix area. So we're gonna bring you along for that, see what kind of animals they're working with, etc., etc. I'm gonna try and fix this so we're not blown out or walk through the parking lot and go. Just excited that people like you, you hear so much negativity about the reptile world and where it's going and seeing people like open up exotic reptile specialty stores. We need more of them across the country and I just think it's good to see that happening. Well, I would have to agree with you, sir. I would also agree that uh, 84 degrees is not the place for flannels and such things. Stupid Phoenix, it's February. Oh, wait, no, it's March. <laughs> Just so you guys know, if you come with me, if you say something that I like, you have to repeat it to the camera every time. <laughs> so that he can test your actual reaction versus your acting abilities. <laughs> We're here at CMB Reptile. There's a shop right there. They did, they beat out Walmart for the big spot, like, or Walgreens. Walgreens right has here. the corner spot. They actually got the corner spot where Walgreens didn't. Look at these guys. Here they come. What's going on, guys? This is the father-son combo right here. We got Caleb. How's it going? We got Bill. Oh. We got bass clef. And we got treble clef. <laughs> <laughs> It's a piano player right there. Something about reptiles and people who are into music. I swear, they're connected somehow. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I recognize y'all. Yeah, how's it going? Good, you guys are gonna open it here, that reptile? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit, that's badass. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna stop by when you guys open Yeah, come awesome. see us. Looking forward to it. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We got the first customer pulling up. We're not faking this, like that, that was legitimate. We didn't, we didn't stage that. <laughs> so obviously the place is not ready it doesn't have anything in it yet, but we're we're here to kind of do a uh, like a pre a pre vlog sort of thing. We're planning to come back out for the grand opening, so we'd like to see all you guys come out here for that and see this place when it actually is in full swing, ready to go. Hi guys, I'm Bill with CMB Reptile. This is my son Caleb. How you doing? And we're going to be opening our new store here in Phoenix shortly. We started getting into reptiles. He's been into them for a long time. I actually had ball pythons in college. Um, but we both started with ball pythons and uh, as we grew more and more into the hobby, I really started getting into it about four years ago with my son. And that's when we started discussing the idea of opening a store. What we're trying to do is bring the best selection and the best pricing and the cleanest shop we can to the valley and uh, give everybody what they're looking for. We're yeah. hoping to uh, offer a wide selection of, of uh, geckos and lizards and snakes. Almost everything anyone could want. We're really trying to bring not only a good reptile store for you guys, but also a fun personal experience to come in and meet us and get to know us. We really want to you know, get to know you guys as not just businessmen, but as friendships almost. We really want to be friends with all our customers, build a personal experience that people remember here at CNB. 
that's what we really want to strive for. Now, obviously, since we don't have any reptiles here at the shop currently, we're gonna go check out their reptile room at their house and yeah. see some of the cool animals they're working with. Side trip before we go over to the CMB guys' place, but of course we're with Garrett, so that means that anywhere there happens to be super dwarves hatching, there's little little. Can you smell what the super dwarves are cooking? <laughs> My first clutch of anything. And he's starting it with super dwarves. Did you tell him the pairing. Uh, the mother is a Richard Bilbo, 75% Kalatoa, 12.5% Jampea, Poss, double head, uh, snow, purple snow, bred to one of your babies named Bruce Wayne. He's an Annery Golden Child, 100% het purple. I like that name for him. Yeah, he was cool. He's the Dark Knight. You guys are MTV Cribs, right? Yep. W welcome, to the, welcome to my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I'm shameless. Oh my gosh. I mean, you have a total. Um, I had 15, sick. but two went bad. Mm -hmm. And then I have this little guy right here, which I'm okay, pretty so sure. The only thing yeah, I'm wondering about is like, a lot of these golden childs look at her. Set that thing down. 50% Kalatoa. Yep. Golden nice. childs. 25%. Nice. That's what everybody wants. Jampea for that color. Yeah. Yeah, I always, I always call them Superdorf with some jam sauce on top. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so excited. excited. <laughs> that is so no, crazy. That's a really exciting. I can't point. believe this. This is so surreal. All right, Christmas we got to check the action. second bin now. You were oh, saying right that you didn't think they were pipped yet? Nope. And then look at this little Oh my one. gosh, what the heck is going on that's with that? I think that's a double egg. Look at that. It, it is. It is a double egg. Look at that thing. It's like look grafted it's together like right banana. there. Yeah, believe it or not, that is the heaviest uh, hey guys, egg I have. Wake up, wake up, wake up. That's two, that's two eggs in one. That's crazy. That's Dude, awesome. that was worth the price of admission right there. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna see so bad what's inside it. So I would not be surprised if one of these was a golden child, or I mean an annery, if not multiples. I think maybe two. I think the one over there at the end of the. And box really, you there. very well still could get albinos because there's only six here, and it's a head to head breeding on the albino side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, folks. I'm gonna put the link in the description so you can go check out Urban Heart Exotics and see this first clutch. Congratulations, my uh, friend. Hey, thank you. And uh, go see what he's got Ooh, going on. Absolutely. Nose. Oh my god. Look goodness. at how Look small at that. that nose is. It looks like a baby platypus. <laughs> 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 It's like half the thickness right. of my finger. Maybe yeah, it's not not too uh, not too not far too off. Far away. Look at that <laughs> hatchling corn versus hatchling retic. <laughs> cool. Lee is obviously a cool guy. Well, I don't know if it was obvious to you guys, but it was obvious to me he was a cool guy. However, we are moving on and we're going to check out all the animals that, well, maybe not all of them, but a lot of the animals that CNB Reptiles is working with. They're stocking up. They're stocking up for the grand opening, so should be a, should be some fun stuff. Chihuahua crested hybrid right here. And these things are little aliens. Half Chihuahua, half crested gecko. Some people have problem with hybrids, but this is one of the few hybrids that doesn't really have any problems as they get bigger. Same with the uh, chondros. Same with the, he's gonna jump on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, these are really sick. But yeah, just the coloration on these guys, that Chihuahua vibrance is crazy brought out on this gecko. So yeah, right here we got a Moro Lichianus gecko. The lychees are the biggest gecko in the world. And right now they're just little babies, but we can pull out an adult here shortly to show you. But this is a Moro locale. And lychees are honestly my favorite gecko. Just from the way they act to the way they grow and develop. Even the way they move. <laughs> little fast guy. But yeah, I mean, nothing really beats a, beats a rachidactylus. You know, you like these ones, right? Mm -hmm. right? Especially the red throat. They feel so crazy. I mean, I don't know how, it's like holding a leather tire. Yeah, if you've never held an indigo snake, you, you haven't lived. <laughs> when you hold one, they kind of chill with you, you know? Yeah. 
They just sit there and so smart and intelligent. Well, throw that tongue out there a couple more times. <sighs> <laughs> Both got the same trick. <laughs> Works. So I'm Dana, I am the mom of Caleb and Bill's wife, and I'm the boss of this operation. <laughs> Perfect, see, that's, that's exactly, that's what we needed. Both exanthic blacktails are in shed, of course. Oh my God, you got him out? Yeah, he looks he, like a zombie. Yes. It's always interesting to see how, look at all the drama icon when they go into the blue, they just, their eyes go, so intense. Right? You think you open it, you're like, a zombie. You can't see anything. <laughs> it's like, Still are you dead? All right, so it's Caleb here from CNB. I'm with one of Garrett's Reach Out Reptiles that he had sent to us for the shop that I ended up keeping for myself because I fell in love with it just more than my indigo, to be honest. But here at CNB, we're going to uh, offer Reach Out Reptiles retics only to you guys. We want to be offering just the best super dwarf bloods and dwarf bloodlines for everyone. Thanks to Garrett. So this is one of our bigger Moro Lichianus geckos. This girl's pushing two years, or this is actually our male. He's pushing two years now. Uh, we have a Moro female as well. We're trying to produce some nice captive bred lychees for you guys. But lychees are really an amazing gecko. Not only their size, but also the way they act, the way they seem to know their owner. Because like, see how he doesn't want to come off? If it was my dad grabbing him, he would have just plucked right off. So this is a prehensile tail skink. This is a, also known as a monkey-tailed skink. I absolutely fell in love with it the moment it came in. I actually bought it for the store and uh, ended up keeping it for myself. Uh, really a beautiful animal. I love the way they look, but they are kind of aggressive. Um, they're cage aggressive, so when you go to get them out, they want to bite. and once you get him out, I've never seen him bite. So it's just in the cage. We use glove as a precaution because his bite is pretty powerful. He looks very intimidating from head on. The monkey tail? Yeah. They almost have like a tortoise head or something oh, like yeah, that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks menacing for chomping. <laughs> All right, we're all set. No, Checked all the reptiles. Got it all set up here by the pool. We're gonna record the uh, podcast, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be fantastic. Look at these little nice Arizona backdrop scenery for recording the next episode of Searchable's Reptiles. You guys go click the link down in the description. You can find the episode. Looks like it might get dark out here while we're filming, so that's why we do most of it on audio. You can check it out. And there it is. Thank you guys for having us so much, man. Good yeah, for yeah. sure, man. Love to have you here. Let's put the. You say bye, Garrett. Bye, Garrett.